Due to your positive response to our previous video, 10 discontinued vehicles we loved on the way back, where you shared your favorite picks, we were inspired to delve further. We explored vehicles with a likely comeback. This time we dug deeper, ran blog searches, comments, and social media to uncover the old cars, SUVs, and trucks that have left the most significant impressions on fans and owners. Here are your picks. The Plymouth Barracuda is one of the most iconic pony cars ever, prominent in Fast and Furious, and all other similar movies. Its presence symbolized the peak of pony cars. Despite the Cuda's deep-rooted place in automotive history, it shared the fate of its contemporary, the Chevy Camaro, witnessing a decline before being discontinued. Recent industry shifts hint at a potential revival. The Barracuda's return would likely be under Dodge's mantle, signifying the brand's adaptability. Expectations point towards an electrified resurrection. Dodge has previously showcased the e-muscle platform, an innovative nod to future electrification in muscle cars. Enthusiasts and fans eagerly anticipate updates. The Cuda, if rebooted, could serve as a bridge between classic American muscle and modern electric performance, marking a new chapter in the automotive narrative. The revival of iconic sports cars by Toyota has stirred excitement with the reintroduction of the GR Supra and Toyota 86. Amid this resurgence, anticipation builds around the potential comeback of another iconic nameplate, the Toyota MR2. Known for its agility and driving pleasure, the MR2 was a compact marvel in its heyday, yet it faced practicality challenges compared to the growing preference for versatile SUVs and crossovers in today's market. Despite these concerns, Toyota's commitment to sports cars remains apparent. The company's willingness to revive performance lineup suggests that the return of the three brothers, with the MR2 potentially filling the gap between the Supra and 86, is more than mere speculation. Enthusiasts might find that the prospect of driving a modern iteration of the MR2 is not as distant as once thought. The sports car landscape is indeed changing, and Toyota appears poised to shape it once again. The GMC Cyclone emerged as a remarkable force in the early 90s, rewriting the narrative for high-performance trucks and vehicles overall. Notably, in a race that carved a niche in automotive history, the Cyclone famously eclipsed a Ferrari, much to the surprise of enthusiasts and experts alike. This high-powered pickup, introduced in 1991, was only in production until 1993, with a scant tally of 2,998 units leaving the factory. It was an embodiment of power, with its turbocharged engine injecting a new level of sportiness into the truck segment. The Cyclone's relatively lofty price tag was a key factor in its discontinuation. Priced significantly higher than its contemporaries, it was nearly double the cost of the popular Chevrolet S10, which certainly impacted its accessibility and sales figures. The Cyclone's stint on the automotive stage was brief but impactful, delivering a blend of utility and sports car agility that would pave the way for the performance trucks and SUVs that command the market today. The Mazda RX-7, a model from the celebrated Japanese automaker, stands as a testament to performance and affordability in harmony. Enthusiasts widely regard it as an icon, chiefly because of its exceptional rotary engine, a design known for delivering seamless, vigorous acceleration. This unique powertrain has gathered a loyal fan base, fascinated by its distinct smoothness and potential for tuning. Its design, characterized by a low profile and sleek aesthetic, beckons car lovers who seek to customize. The versatility of RX-7 contributes to its status as one of the most adaptable sports cars from Japan, lending itself to an array of personalizations that enhance street presence. Although there is speculation about the resurgence of Mazda's rotary engine in future models, at present, there are no confirmed plans from the manufacturer for a revival of the RX-7 or RX-8. The Nissan Silvia gained notoriety in the drifting circuit, becoming a favorite for those passionate about sports cars. This line of vehicles, introduced as entry-level model during the 90s and into the early 21st century, struck a chord with fanatics. The S15 version represents the final evolution of the Silvia lineage, ceasing production in 2002, with previous accolades highlighting its prowess as a top drift performer. This model's enduring appeal can be attributed to its rear-wheel drive configuration and remarkable handling capabilities. Nissan Silvia shares the successful RWD and front-engine formula, providing drivers with a vehicle that's highly versatile when it comes to swapping and upgrading parts. Despite its storied history and popular standing, there is no indication of a resurgence for the Nissan Silvia in the current automotive landscape. 
The Suzuki Jimny is famous for its off-road capabilities and affordable pricing, offering a delightful driving experience. In its homeland, production continues, yet reintroduction to the U.S. market seems unlikely due to stringent policies. Classified as a K car in Japan, the Jimny's compact design caters to specific size and engine regulations, synthesizing efficiency and performance. While the global presence of the Jimny spans nearly 200 countries, the U.S. fondly recalls the model's practicality and rugged charm. Despite its international acclaim, the entire Suzuki lineup, including the Jimny, exited the U.S. market following the automaker's financial difficulties over a decade ago. Consequently, the crossover remains an admired but distant memory for American off-road enthusiasts, with its legacy persisting in various other markets worldwide. The Ford Crown Vic played an integral role in law enforcement due to its robust build and roomy interior. Police and taxi services favored it for its spacious trunk and capacity to carry essential equipment. Built on a sturdy body-on-frame architecture, the Crown Victoria withstood collisions more effectively than many of its counterparts. Durably designed, a well-maintained car often surpassed the 200,000-mile mark. A critical factor in its discontinuation, however, was the absence of electronic stability control, a feature mandated for all new vehicles starting in the 2012 model year. Consequently, the final production batch from 202 was diverted to the Middle East. By 2024, Ford's strategic shift away from sedans and hatchbacks in the U.S. market essentially cemented the Crown Vic status as a relic of the past, with no signs of revival on the horizon. The Chevrolet Impala has ceased production after a long-standing tenure in the American car landscape from 1958 to 2020. With its discontinuation, the Impala leaves behind a storied legacy in the automotive world. While some enthusiasts may hold out hope for a revival, expectations for the Impala's return are subdued. The discontinuation of the Camaro evokes mixed feelings, optimists see an empty slot in the lineup, while the information serve as another sign for pessimists that GM is phasing out all its cars. Existing E2XX platform, which underpins the Chevrolet Malibu, possesses the versatility that could technically support a new iteration of the Impala, prompting curiosity about the possibilities within GM's future strategy. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, or just Evo, built a robust reputation among enthusiasts for its adaptability and dependability in the tuning community. Despite ceasing production, the vehicle maintains a high valuation in the second-hand market, a testament to its lasting appeal. Mitsubishi consistently introduced innovations throughout the Evo series, from powertrain enhancements to advancements in technology and design. The decision to stop manufacturing the Evo came amid shifts in consumer preferences and market trends, which now favor different vehicle types. The diminishing market for sports sedans like the Evo made it challenging for Mitsubishi to justify the continuation of the line. Nevertheless, the Lancer Evo remains an iconic model with a dedicated fan base that appreciates its historical significance and performance legacy. The Porsche 911, since its debut in the 1960s, has maintained a classic and unmistakable design. Characterized by its enduring silhouette and unique rear-engine configuration, it stands apart in the landscape of sports cars. The engine, positioned behind the rear axle, results in weight distribution that allows a skilled driver to lower power earlier in a turn than would be possible with any other powertrain. This very layout contributes to a weight distribution that lends itself to a unique driving feel exclusive to the 911. To this day, the lineage, most recently continued by the 992 model, is celebrated for setting Porsche among the elite in sports car manufacturing. The consistent evolution while preserving its core identity highlights the vehicle's legendary status and Porsche's commitment to maintaining the essence of their 911 hallmark creation. These are just 10 additional vehicles from the hundreds we cherish that are no longer in production. Your feedback on the first video made us to conduct further research. Feel free to drop a comment if we've overlooked any other cool vehicle from the past.